Danny Savage reporting. Well, Shaisa Gohir is from the Muslim Women's Network and joins us now. Uh, Shaisa Gohir, your thoughts firstly on the sentencing. I'm relieved that he's been given a custodial sentence. I was worried that he may get a suspended sentence because that sometimes happens in child sexual abuse cases. So it's good that he's going to prison, but justice hasn't been fully served because he's going into prison still with his title of being called Lord intact. And our correspondent at the court, Danny Savage, said that there would need to be a change in law to begin the process of stripping him of any title. So that would be a very complicated process. That's right, there's an anomaly in the law that allows him to continue keeping his title even though he's been convicted, he's no longer in the House of Lords. So the Muslim Women's Network have actually joined um, Alexander Stafford MP's campaign, I know he's campaigning to try and get the law changed to strip uh, Nazir Ahmed of his title. So I've also written to the Lord Chancellor asking him to change the law and it could be that they just give the powers to the Lord's Standards Committee to look at um, things on a case-by-case -case basis to be able to strip um, barons and baronesses of their titles because my worry is that once he comes out of prison um, he's going to use it for influence so it needs to be done before he comes out of prison. Uh, would some people say that justice is in the form of a custodial sentence and that that is the thing that should be focused on and not a peerage? When you go into the House of Lords lots of checks and scrutiny is done and you've got to um, have you know how high standards um, of public life now okay this wasn't known when Tony Blair put him in the House of Lords but once things come to light um, how is it morally right for him to, to keep a title this is a title an honour that's bestowed him on him by the Queen um, and what he's done is despicable and dishonourable so as long as he keeps that title he will try and maintain that linkage to the House of Lords to the Queen. So we must break that link because when he comes out, he can go up and down the country, he can go abroad to Pakistan. He's quite popular uh, amongst the Kashmiri Pakistani communities. And then he can use that for influence. And we need to try and you know stop that from happening if justice is to be fully served. And I wonder more generally, looking at this case, what have you learned? You know what, the, the bravery of the victims, it doesn't matter how long ago it was, it can be decades ago, and it's not an easy process. It's taken years to get to this point of him getting that sentence. Um, I think it's, you know, four or five years, and too many victims actually drop out of the process. So it is worth it, you can get justice, and I urge more victims to come forward if they feel that they have been abused. Nice to go here from the Women's Muslim Women's Network. Thank you so much for joining us.